So what's it been like having Delos crew take over your whole home for the last three weeks? Best experience of my life. Great people to hang out with. Like, I don't know how to pour a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Chill vibes. Oh, oh! Lots of boat stuff going on. Get my own boat soon, learning a lot. It's been awesome. This has to be the biggest Delos takeover we've ever done. When Jim first reached out to us, we found it hard to believe that someone we'd never met would be willing to open up their private dock to us for a whole month. Accepting this offer meant that we got so much more than just a solid place to knock out boat work. Jim didn't just invite us onto his dock, he opened up the doors to his home and made us feel like it was ours. Do you see the size of these washing machines people have in their houses? He gave us a space to edit Delos episodes, cooked us countless amazing meals, Open the egg. Top secret. and even let us have a patron party with over a hundred people. Jim's house, give it over Jim. Yeah. But before we got too comfortable with the land life, we had to remind ourselves we have an ocean to cross and more things on the to-do list. So, today. <clears throat> um, the life raft should be coming today or tomorrow. The preventer on the main, we're gonna do that today. Me and Sean are gonna tackle that. Rigging, do that today. Go up the main mast and have a look. It shouldn't take Sweet. more than 15, 20 minutes. Uh, make watch schedule, yeah, we can do that. Um, today I will start filling up with fuel. We have right like now. 150 liters right now, so we need 450 liters. Hey, I'm gonna borrow your truck again if that's cool. Are you still asking? <laughs> Come on, Rubes. And then it was time for the big provision. We needed to get enough food and staples to provide for five adults for months of off-grid living. This is the story of Delos, a sailboat that's been cruising around the world for over a decade. I jumped on board 10 years ago, not knowing that one day I'd be stepping up as captain with my girlfriend and first mate by my side. Over 50 crew have called Delos home, and that tradition of sharing the adventure continues this season as we write the next chapter of the Delos story during a lap around the North Atlantic Ocean. If you enjoy Delos videos, please hit subscribe. It's a fast and free way to keep our journey going. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's your shirt set? The single-handed sailor. This is a guy that lost his leg and his arm in an accident, and now he sold everything and he's on a boat sailing around the world by himself. That's if that doesn't inspire you to do it and tell you you can do it, I don't know what will. Mm -hmm. yep. First, I want to point that out. <laughs> Somebody labeled the label maker and labeled it wrong. <laughs> it's the label maker. <laughs> label maker. maker. We're going to label many things with this label maker. Who did that? One British man and one uh, South African man. <laughs> job with, with the Argentinian <laughs> saying, you're spelling it wrong, bro. I'm like, no, I was no, like, no. guys, you don't spell like that. I was like, no, yes, yes. I was like, <laughs> okay. I guess I'm the Argentinian, right? Only a few days in and the crew vibe was awesome, which was a good start because we had some long passages ahead of us. Our first stop out of Florida will be Bermuda, about a thousand nautical miles to the northeast. Our plan is to leave Pompano Beach, ride the Gulf Stream up just north of the Bahamas, and get sucked into the North Atlantic High. While in Bermuda, we will explore, while waiting for the perfect weather window to continue the 1,800 nautical miles to the Portuguese islands of the Azores. From here, the plan is still up in the air but we will eventually need to sail another 4,000 miles, making it back to the Caribbean, where Brian, Karen, and the newest crew member will hop aboard and cruise as a family. During this season, we'll be sailing close to 7,000 nautical miles, and of course, filming the entire journey. This route is part of the North Atlantic Circuit, and only possible because of the North Atlantic High and the Gulf Stream that act as a big conveyor belt bringing wind and warm water to Europe. This couldn't have been a better time 
to give our scholarship winner his first lesson on weather. <laughs> okay, so this is Predict Wind. This is the software we use to to get weather when we're when we're out, and we connect to the Iridium Go, which are, is our satellite phone. Mm -hmm. But basically, the way what it shows. So down here is is you see these colors from purple all the way up to gray. Mm -hmm. and that shows the wind speed. So the lower the pr more purple it is, the lighter the wind is. Mm. So like in here, you That's see there's cool. no wind, mm. and once it gets into like the red and the black. You're starting to get into like Seriously, high winds. 30, 35 knots, okay, yeah. probably gusting into 40. And and, and, which, and, and what you have to understand about wind is is it's exponentially stronger. So like when the wind doubles, mm. it grows in strength by four times. Right in like the where the green turns to yellow, mm. turns to orange. That's like sweet. We're good. We're good there. Anything above that, we have to start reefing, and the swells get bigger, and it's still fine. Everything's still safe. It's just like that's our sweet spot. So every single ocean in the world has a high pressure system sitting in it. If you're north of the equator, which we are now, they're going to be spinning clockwise. Okay. If you're south of the equator, they're spinning counterclockwise. Always. Yeah, always. So that's like the high pressure systems. They're mainly stationary and they stay in the same pool. They, they fluctuate north and south, mm. but they sit there. And then you have low pressure systems that work their way around those pretty much. It's been and then come about. So it's, it's a clockwise motion this thing's yeah. moving in. Now, if you look up here, they're doing the opposite. They go this way and then come back down. Yeah, it's so, like high pressure. So those are low pressure. Low. Okay. The small ones with strong wind are low. The big one is a high pressure system. So low pressure <laughs> means there's not as many air particles there right now, which mm -hmm. means there's room for air particles to be moving into, uh, which is yeah. creating more wind. High sure. pressure, there's a lot, so yeah. they're not, there's not wind trying to rush into that area. Ooh. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. That's yeah, like yeah, the most yeah, yeah. basic. And the reason they're spinning is because of the Coriolis effect. Oh, so if, if, because the, because the world is rotating and spinning, mm -hmm. it, it makes everything spin. Like whereas if the world wasn't spinning. We just have it, we probably wouldn't even have weather actually. <laughs> <laughs> so as the earth spins on the craters, the water like that as such, it, like, is. it is pushed it's out. It also it depends yeah. where the moon is. And the tide yeah. changes it too. <laughs> what? Yeah, Wherever. and then as the moon moves around, it must like kind of yeah, pull it. Yeah, pulls the water through. <laughs> That's so cool. It's cool. There's there's some good diagrams that show that, and yeah. like the Earth is not round. It depends on where the moon is and yeah, what's course. going on, because the moon really wow. bulges one side out, and that's just high tide. Is the water yeah. bulging? It's a lot to take on, but like it all kind of makes it makes logical sense. Everything makes sense. Okay, now repeat it. Yeah. <laughs> Do an essay on this. So basically, our plan is to hop on this conveyor belt. We want to stay just above the no wind zone caused by the center of the high and just below the strong wind caused by the lows above. If all goes to plan, this is the pattern that will carry us around the entire North Atlantic and back into the Caribbean. I just wanted to say something really quickly. It's really interesting how when you're on a boat, Nobody says, excuse me, or can I get by? Everyone is just so like aware, because it's such a small space down there that everyone just like moves and flows in this really interesting way. But in England, you'd be like, oh, I'm so sorry, Let me, can I get by? But on a boat, you don't do that. And secondly, I think being on Dallas kind of opens my mind to the opportunity of living in a in a different way, in the fact that I don't have to, you know, you don't have to just follow that normal job life. There are options and, and ways to live and make an income while also, you know, living the dream or following your passion or doing something awesome with your life instead of just kind of going through the normal motions of work and stuff. I think Dallas is just a really good example and quite quite an intense example of that. Okay, what's our plan? What are we doing today? So, today we are starting our provision, which is super exciting because that means we're getting very, very close to 
casting lines and starting our passage. And a couple people recommended a uh, like a restaurant wholesale shop that's actually really close to here. So we're gonna make that our first stop, see what we can get there for a good price, and then take it from there. What's the first stop of the day? First stop of the day is coffee. Coffee. <laughs> So we are at the restaurant depot, restaurant depot. and uh, we got really lucky. I think you're supposed to have like a card to shop here showing that you own a restaurant because it's like for wholesale restaurant stuff. But we walked in and the lady at the front desk was super nice and like wrote us a little day pass, which is awesome. So yeah, we're good to go. Okay, so we need 11 pounds of sugar. Tea. So we got Moroccan mint tea and then we got chai tea. But we need like sweet and sour sauce, chipotle mustard, peanut butter, barbecue, vegetable oil, salsa, coconut oil. And by the way, you don't need a refrigerate mayonnaise, that's a myth. Muesli and granola and oats and stuff like that. Look at this. I just bought chimichurri, which is like classic from Argentina. So yeah, some recipes here. 15 rolls of paper towels. 10 packs of tortillas. That's a lot of tortillas. This place is awesome. <laughs> it's uh, kind of crazy to shop here. It's like slightly disorganized because it's so big. But if you just go through and look for everything, it's all there. And we're gonna save a lot of money shopping here because it is cheap, like cheap, cheap. <laughs> it's a little bit challenging because everything's in bulk. Um, and for us, we actually like to get a lot of smaller things because it's easy to store. And since we don't refrigerate a lot of stuff, we can't really open a huge thing and leave it open for that long. Um, but we're just gonna try and get what we can and then we'll fill in the rest with a different store. Okay, my guess, the price is gonna be $250. <laughs> so probably his first Have time shopping. Have you ever shopping. done grocery shopping before? Yeah, but just not with dollars. What? Is that loads? Two hundred fifty dollars is what we would spend like in a week's worth of food for us. This is four months. Yeah. So it would be much more than. So it's mean much more. Much more. Okay, you lost. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I went. I went. I went. Okay. 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 So okay. I'm gonna guess like six twenty-four. Oh shit, I was really far off then, okay. Yeah. 7.15. All right, we'll the, see. The bets are on. Yeah. Maybe I'm right. I'm feeling solid, my guess. You're definitely wrong. I'm definitely I'm, I'm right. Sorry. I think I'm right. I'm sorry, but you're wrong. I've got this feeling. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the longest receipt oh my. I've ever had in my life. But the total ended up coming to Eight eighty seventy three. So technically, Kia won. Kia won. Yeah, we, I'd say we cut our prices like in half by coming here, which is awesome. We had just a few more stops to make before checking everything off our extensive list. Provisioning for five people for two to three months is an interesting challenge, but the real hard work begins when you get everything back on board organized and stowed away. Lucky for us, Delos is set up incredibly well for storing a crazy amount of food. All we had to do was spend the afternoon getting the cans paper-free and relabeled to keep the bilge clean, remove as much cardboard as possible to ensure we are insect egg free, and vacuum seal all our dry goods to keep them safe from any bugs getting in or out. Only time would tell how well we did our job but it felt good to have Delos's belly full and ready for the upcoming passage. All right, so it's been about a month since we've cleaned the bottom last and we've been tied to this dock in a pretty nasty canal in South Florida. And I think there's some bull sharks under the boat. As we've heard. As we've heard, but Sian's from South Africa and he surfs J Bay, so he's not scared at all. <laughs> but we've got this thing. Check it out. This company, Remora Marine, makes these. It's an underwater boat cleaning device. 
and it actually has impeller system in there so when you're using it it sucks you onto the boat instead of pulling away and it feels heavy but they've designed it so it's actually mostly buoyant the saga of the bottom of delos continues In the water tank because the water line's out of the water. <laughs> yeah. All right, last full day tied up to this dock. I don't think it's really going to hit any of us until we are literally making our way out of the canal. So yeah, but it's been a push the last few days trying to wrap up all the boat projects and then once we got that done trying to wrap up all our videos that we needed to finish before we left. Yeah, man, we've been uh, working so freaking hard the past 30 days on getting Delos ready that we've neglected editing. It's, it's so much work. <laughs> it's, uh, it's kind of crazy actually felt a little overwhelming there for a little bit. So we decided to leave one day later. We were gonna leave this morning and we just decided to leave tomorrow morning because it just wasn't possible any other way. So yeah, everything feels really, really right. Like I knew when this crew came together that everyone was gonna get along good and hit it off. But within a week, it's just been like instant family. And that's really special. I don't think that's a common Thing to bring a group of people together most of them have never met and have everyone get along this good it's really special that's it we're leaving town that's it before setting sail there's always the last few tasks that switch your mind into offshore mode Maggie was on deck Delos was full of water, fuel, food, and a stoked crew. It was officially time to start a new chapter. This would be my first ocean crossing as a solo captain of Delos, and it made me feel excited, scared, nervous, happy, and everything in between. But a captain is only as strong as the boat and the crew, and I had a feeling we were going to be just fine with whatever Neptune had waiting for us. There was just one more thing we had to do before casting the lines. We have a little gift. Come on, on. Come a on board. gift for Jim and Josie and all their hospitality. Okay. There's a few. <laughs> so, yeah. how to even begin with you guys? <laughs> I can't believe that you, that you guys came into our life, or rather, that we came into yours, I suppose. It meant as much to us as I'm sure it did you. Cool, yeah. man, that's so good to hear. And like, you've made our time here, uh, I mean, you, I would say you make it made it easier, but you actually made it all possible to get everything done that we got done. You, I know you already have a lot of captain's hats from your no, days no, no, no. in the Navy and stuff, but... That's Brady's, he's the one that just upgraded. <laughs> <laughs> I already have one. We wanted to give you this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you guys. It says a lot about, about people to uh, open up their doors and houses and personal life to people from the internet, you know? And yeah. It's all about accepting and like welcoming people into your heart. And more people around the world are like you guys. It's a good place. Last, no, last thing, you gotta put your captain chair on. Yeah. 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 Real classy. I Real classy. Good. Yeah. That's real good. Good. That's it. We did it to yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Thank you for being you. And let's do it. Let's go across an ocean. Cool. Let's go across an ocean. Let's do it. Go go so. We are ready to leave and I feel so blessed to be here doing this with these awesome, so amazing people and good times are coming and I know 
there this is gonna be like a big trip that it changed life right and so ready to open a new chapter on my life and that's it this is the dream that I've been dreaming of for so long thank you so much and to Delos for inviting me on this trip and to everyone that made this possible thank you so much <laughs> see you on the other side To be honest, the whole thing about crossing an ocean, that was the part that I was the most nervous about. <laughs> like once I'm off the dock, it's like, oh let's just let's go, let's get out of the channel in the open ocean, then you then you can sit back for a minute. Next up on Delos, the crew settle in for life at sea. We fly our trusty Jenniker. Like what you're missing outside. And there seems to be a bit of a spark between the crew. There we go. Back six. Without thinking twice. Ruben went for a little swim out here. Give us the power thruster! How's it? Voila! Oh, you busy cleaning there? This is the pube catcher for all your puby needs. Yeah, he's a sexy captain. You're <laughs> sexy as a daddy, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. That's good. Oh, Brad Pitt is nothing, <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh. Hey, go ahead. Bushmaster, out there, my crewman. What the? Come on and buy some of our stuff. Buy him a beer. Doesn't he look thirsty? Come on. We got shirts. We got mugs. We got it all. Come aboard. 